everybody, Suzy Q here, and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. And I had to get up in the middle of the night because I heard this horrible sound. There's like two sounds that wake me up out of sleep. It's water hitting the floor, <laughs> and I sleep with my window open next to my waterfall, and there's a definite difference. And a dry pump, or a dry hang in the back, pump, or like that grinding pump sound. And that woke me up last night. There was a grinding pump sound. And I wasn't sure where it was coming from, so I got up and came out. So no coffee, nothing. Three o'clock in the morning. I'm out here trying to be quiet. I'm filling water up. I put my safe in. And then I turn the light on to look and I see that the other side of the pump is filled with a big chunk of debris, like soot. So I knew I had to suck some water out. Oh my gosh, without coffee, I don't know if my thinking was right. So I moved the, um, yeah, that's where I saw it. So I moved the hose over and tried to suck all that out because I knew as soon as I walk away and it's filled with water, all that dirt was going to go up into the top of the tank. So I reversed the python and put it in there and then remembered, because remember, this is without coffee, that this was going to end up in my kitchen sink. So I had to hurry up and go put a net over to the sink before I got it. Whew. Let me tell you, it's not easy being Susie Q at 3 o'clock in the morning without any coffee. But I did manage and I came out and looked at it. I said, okay, I'm going to go back to sleep until it's time for work because the noise has stopped. Something very important I see now that it's bright and early, I'm ready for work. Um, it's all reflection. So this is my 120 gallon. Started my whole documenting my hobby venture that I've been on. Um, I got this on a Christmas, I think I technically got a Christmas Eve. My fiance John brought it over and I was thrilled. It's gone through some changes in the last, I guess it's been a little over two years. It's been a little over two years. My log has finally stopped floating. <laughs> driftwood, somebody said, well that's why they call it driftwood. Yeah. So I want to go over my rainbow fish, my angel fish, clown loaches, two plecos, and probably a dozen or so quarry cats. Did I miss anybody in here, guys? My two viejas. <laughs> Let's dive a little closer into my 120. But I'll sh shoot some B-roll when there's not reflection. This is a tank. When I started setting it up, I knew I was huge. I knew it was a huge project, and I wanted to document how I was doing it, what I was learning, things I was doing wrong, things I was doing right. Um, and I thought, what? Well, let me document this on YouTube. So this tank is where I really started making a commitment to document my aquarium hobby on YouTube. So, in a way, this is where it all began. So all these angelfish are my angelfish babies that I bred. Got the black veil. These, oh my gosh, these gorgeous babies. And this is after I took about 12 to my local fish store. I took six to my fish club. Let's see if I can get a good shot of them. Yeah, you hear that noise? We're gonna be talking about that gurgle. So this koi angel is the only one that's not one of my babies. Hi. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Stunning. That one's one of my babies. They're all, all the rest are the biahe. Look at that. So this is my 120. These are the, the fish inside my 120, which I absolutely love. But I got to say, I have been toying with the idea of making the salt water, but... So those are the angels occupants in this tank. And then I have my rainbows. 
I have all different rainbows that I got when I first got this tank. They were teeny tiny babies. I wasn't even sure how they were going to turn out. I probably have lost three in the last two years. So I got the blue turquoise. I got, oh my gosh, the Bo Bosmani. I got two Goiter River. I've got them from different local fish stores, pet stores. But I got most of them when they were very small. Not fry small, but small. I got this one, I forget what the name of this one bright red metallic one is, but I like her very much. Yes, and my angels. And of course, I've got my clown loaches. And I absolutely love my clown loaches. They're about, I see that far about all my fish, don't I? <laughs> That's so funny, but I do. I just think they're absolutely hysterical funny, personable, um, and then the plants in here, I have tried all different plants, and I'm not sure who is the plant eater, if it's the viajes, the angels, or the rainbows, or the clown loaches. So far, these are the only plants that I can get to survive in here. And I think this is narrow leaf java fern. And down here is some more java fern. Anubis. Hi, buddy. Behind it is some more java fern. Now, I've had 15 different kinds of plants in here, and none of them have survived. Bulbitis, probably my favorite aquatic plant. Love the bulbitis. I think it's called African fern. More Java fern. Anubis. And then I got Anubis mother plant in the back, still in its pot. Narrow leaf Anubis too. But all plants, whether I put in Val, swords, whatever I put in here, somebody has eaten them all. And I have my two, uh, I call my two fancy plecos, which I haven't seen in about six months, but that doesn't mean that they're not in here at all. My, the golden one, the L177, I think it is. And then the blue phantom. So those are the plants that I have in here. But let's, let's take a look at this gurgle sound. I have been trying for two years to figure out what it is. I'm gonna take you down under the sump. <laughs> I'm gonna take you down under the sump. Oh my gosh, listen to this gurgle. I'm kind of immune to it now, but that is a very annoying, loud sound. So let me dive a little deeper into my dry sump filtration that I have for this 120. Okay, a little bit about this sump is the water gets pumped up and it comes down into these um, socks. But in order to get into these socks, they come down from the two overflows and it's about five feet of hose that scoops down and then comes up. It's not a 90 degree angle, which some people saying if I have a 90 degree angle right to the overflow, there won't be any gurgle. So I have yet to try that because I really don't know how to do that yet. But I set up some bio balls in here and all the water goes through the socks. And then because the bio balls were escaping, I put this little plastic up, but it comes over here through the sponge. And then it comes over here to where the pump is. And of course it's got a sponge on the end of the pump and it's pushed back up again. So that's my filtration for this tank. And check out the links attached for when it started leaking. That was a disaster. <laughs> but yeah. I really like it. This is my 120 in my middle of my living room. This is what the pizza guy sees when he delivers my pizza. <laughs> Thanks guys, thanks for coming along and checking out my 120 gallon tank. I mean, I wish I'd gotten more sleep last night, but sometimes you just gotta do what you just gotta do.
Let me know in the comments below. Would you change this over to a salt water tank? I'm thinking about it. Thanks for checking out my 120 and I will see you next time.